Hi, welcome to this another new video tutorial on Jasper Report. Here I will show you how to create a, a cumulative sum within a group. Here in the first video I started showing you how you could uh, sum a kind of running uh, sum of uh, different values of a columns and I stopped where I wanted to create a similar thing for a group and here this video is the continuation of that so if you haven't watched that video feel free to go there it should be uh, dev tips video 54 so without a further ado let me show you exactly what we are going to achieve, achieve sorry through this uh, tutorial so here is the example of uh, the order here is the order reports and here what we are trying to do you can see that all these orders here have belonged to these products groups here things here this uh, are ordered by group so we have a list of uh, products and we try to order those that product by group without to sorry we, we try to group those products by product id i come to it finally so and secondly what we try to do is that for each product within the group we have the quantity and we try to summarize the sum of the sum uh, running sum of the quantity and that should be within each group at the end we should have the group total okay so here we have 23 plus 9 32 plus 18 we have 50 plus 22 72 and then it should go this way you can see here you have 184 we are still in product zero and we go to the next here we can see that we begin with the new group header we come it's a new year outside sorry for the noise and uh, happy new year to you by the way so here is um, product one you can see that from product to one after product uh, zero we had the total of 184 and when we go back to the next product type id one everything is reset to zero and here we have quantity 11 here plus 920 and this one should go on here till product one is finished we have 223 and when we start with product two you have the group footer and the group header that start with the new products and then and so on so if something that you are trying to achieve then this tutorial should be a good one for you so in my previous tutorial i have this is where we stopped with uh, this uh, reports where we couldn't get uh, the total after we make change in the in the variable after we make change here here is our group cumulative sum here we have added the group let's go back here so we select the group sum we have here the sum of quantity and we wanted this one to be resetting after each group each group and this one didn't work so what we have to do is um, what is missing here is that we need to add a group uh, header here so we right click okay so if you just if you haven't watched my initial video so just create uh, your blank report or your report as usual and after you finish creating after you finish uh, creating that report you need to add uh, right click uh, the reports here we need to add group okay here we select the group from reports you want to group by product id okay here we add the group header and footer 
here is our group header we need just need a test here a sample let's let's call it group header so this one is going to be our group header and we just design it a bit and we reduce the column header we also need uh, the group footer here is the group footer okay uh, we have the group footer now <coughs> then now we um after that one we have our group and let's see how we look like we can see that after adding our group footer we still have the group here you have many groups here so this is not still what we need we need to eliminate this one and group of these products with uh, here you have product ID 1 uh, 12 then we need to separate this one by ordering uh, our record by group uh, by product ID so what we have to do now is we go back to the design select the field here and scroll down uh, we need to go to sorting and in sort here we need to sort by product id remember we group it by group id it should be uh, select from order by in group by so in ascending order so from zero going up then we try to read it again it's okay then you validate it okay now if we select again the group so you can see that bam is working now all our products have been ordered by product id and we have for the product id zero you have that group of all products here and here the sum okay you have 23 plus 9 32 plus 18 50 and this way is going this way the last one here is 184 we go to the next group it's a group of product with product id 1 where it start here and it goes next here the last product here is 223 and then we have product 2 the group of product 2 we stop here to 78 and so on and so forth so in this way here you can actually have the sum of your the data in in a group so this is how you can make the group sum yeah this is how you can make the group sum and other interesting things here are some properties where you may want to uh, for example you may want to start what keep group together and prevent you have depending on the situation that you have you may select this group here okay to do some interesting things or start a group in the new page for example if you select this one and also the footer is also selected now at you should expect to have a single group per page if i'm not mistaken yeah we have that next page is empty and then we have only one product here 
we go again bam yeah you can see that here we are having uh, one group per page so if that is the requirement of your reports you know what to do you may enable that in order to have uh, only one group per page and or you can want to reprint the group header in each page for example when the group is split across many pages you may want to to do that like we can see here with uh, i think it is product here group one here it goes to the next page and here we have only uh, this thing so what happened when we select a reprint on each page and select it we can see to the next page you can see that you have both group header and and footer in that page so if we have this way here product one and you can see that we have group header here and footer in the same page so these are different things that you can do and play with it it depends on how far you want to go do but uh, the main important thing in this tutorial was to show you how you can actually make the sum create a variable here this way you have a variable name with sum you want to sum the quantity within each group that we have and when we do that we need to remember to use uh, order to order the group uh, to order the record within the group we are using the sorting here to sort them and we also need to add the group header if in, if you don't want need it you may uh, try to make it invisible and this way you will uh, get your sum group sum so let us keep short this way and i hope that you have retained uh, the main lesson behind this tutorial and if you like it do not like it subscribe you also and you have also to drop your comments stay tuned for the future video bye